Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some great news today. We've achieved a lock-in for AutoCrypt upgrades, so everybody celebrate. This has been fantastic that it's all kind of come together, and I really want to thank a whole lot of people today as well uh, for, for helping basically make this, uh, make this network upgrade occur. So what we can see here on the website, and the, this is the autocrypt.digibyteservice.io, says possible yes. So we're currently at 73% accepted. There's only 1,000 blocks remaining this round, so we've already exceeded the threshold, so that the upgrade is locked in now. So this is fantastic to see. We're going to be replacing the Myriad Grostel algorithm with AutoCrypt. Uh, and now this is going to take place now. We've got a one week kind of a, a stand down period to let people know the upgrade is going to be taking place to give people who haven't upgraded a chance and an opportunity to do so. So as of 9.1 million blocks, so uh, 9,112,320, the upgrade will take place. We're going to replace the Myriad Grossel algorithm and instead we're going to have AutoCrypt. Now AutoCrypt is an FPGA mined algorithm. The idea being that it changes itself every 10 days to remove any kind of incentive for any one central party to go out and create an ASIC for it. Now the reasoning behind this is this means that anybody can participate with an FPGA. We already have a bunch of FPGA vendors who make different FPGAs and the chips and things like that. And so it means that there's not any one large kind of entity producing the hardware that we've seen with other ASIC algorithms. So again, this is further designed to decentralize both the production of the hardware, the usage of the hardware, again, potentially encourage a bit more of the hobbyist miner as well, and further distribution, decentralization of the blockchain, coupled with an increase in security from all of these facts. Now, with the upgrade, what's going to happen is as of this block, 9,112,320, Anybody who's running the older version of the Digibyte Core wallet will not be able to send and receive. They're going to be left behind, basically. So the thing to remember is that you don't have to worry specifically about your, your funds or anything because they're not stored on the wallet, they're stored on the blockchain itself. So even if you hadn't upgraded, let's say you had a computer and you'd forgotten about it and you pull a laptop out of the closet, and it's running an older version, maybe it's running 6.16 for example. What you can do is you can simply download the latest core wallet, update it, and away you go. So that's really cool, it's, it's really nice, it's really simple. Now the other thing to be aware of is if you are running a non-core wallet, let's say for example you are running the Android or iOS apps, what they do is they use the other nodes on the blockchain to do the uh, transacting, and so as a result there's nothing to update there. If you are running Let's say you've got a Coinomi wallet, you've got Trezor, Ledger, BitFi. Now, the servers managed by the companies themselves are the ones that are going to be upgrading their underlying core wallets. They've already gone through and done this. And so what we can see is if we go to the dgbwiki.com, we can go to wallets here, and we can see that there's a good number of them that are showing that they have confirmed they've updated and are running the latest. Some of them don't specifically need to, that's okay if they are SPV wallets, some of them do. So say for example, Garda wallet. Over here it says that they have not confirmed that they are running 7.17.2. Now is a really good time for you to reach out to them and say, hey, I use the Garda wallet. Have you updated? Can you update? And make sure that they update well in advance. We don't want people to kind of update right before, like an hour beforehand, and then maybe they run into troubles downloading it or installing it or something along those lines. You know what I mean. So uh, the sooner that they can do this, the better they can run it right now. You can still continue to mine the Myriad Grostel algorithm for now, for example, and exchanges are also going to be the big one. So what I'll do is if we go back to the main page and then we go to exchanges, what we can see here is that there's actually a decent chunk of them that are not showing that they've updated. Now, some of them, for example, uh, like let's take Bitrix, for example. I've contacted them and they've said that they will update, but they haven't yet. So as far as we're concerned, they basically they haven't upgraded. It's not a it's not a guaranteed thing. This means that you should still probably contact them and basically say, hey, look, Bitrix, can you update? Can you ensure you're running 7.17.2? We want to make sure you're not left behind when the network upgrades, and we want to continue to be able to transact on your platform. Now, in an ideal world, what we would see is we would see Bitrix maybe put like a little bit of a, a logo or something similar up the top that uh, is on the Digibyte trading peer pages. 
maybe the deposit and withdrawal pages as well. Something that basically just says, yes, we have upgraded, we're running the latest, it's okay, everything's gonna be cool. And and ideally they'd, they'd leave that up there maybe even for a week after the upgrade takes place as well. Uh, just to let people know, so that way they're not inundated with support questions. Maybe make that suggestion to anybody that you are reaching out and contacting. Um, but you can see here, so there is a bunch that are already showing yes, and that's fantastic. And in fact, we've we've had the Digibyte Awareness team have gone out, uh, specifically Rutger, and has uh, tweeted at a whole lot of people and uh, exchanges and services from the main uh, Digibyte Awareness account. So I want to actually take a quick moment and, and just run through uh, a quick bit of thanks because there's uh, a small group of people especially that have been working together with me and gone through and contacted a whole bunch of pools and exchanges and been really diligent with asking them to upgrade and directly contacting the people that we know about to ensure that this upgrade takes place and that people are aware of the benefits and things like that. So I really, really quickly just want to thank Murat, uh, Nigel, Ting, Batir, Glenn, Rutger, Amar, Rob, and Devin. Thank you so much, guys, for all of the hard work that you've been putting in behind the scenes. Uh, thank you also to the developers as well, uh, who've gone and not only written the code, we've gone and tested on the testnet the upgrade several times to ensure it's completely seamless. Uh, thank you to all of the pool owners and operators who've already gone and updated their software to support the AutoCrypt algorithm. Uh, it's been really fantastic just to see the whole entire Digibyte network coming together well aware of the security benefits from this and the improvements that we are making to the platform and the, the network as a whole. So thank you to everybody who's been involved. It's been a real pleasure and a real honor to see everybody coming together like they have. We've got the upgrade locked in. It's going to be taking place in approximately seven days time now. Uh, it's 9 a.m. here for me in New Zealand and it's gonna take place, I believe around about 3 p.m. Uh, in one week's time. So we've got that one week stand down, uh, sorry, stand down period now to make sure everybody upgrades and they're on the latest. So get in contact with any pools, services, exchanges who have not yet upgraded. Ask them if they can run the latest Digibyte Core wallet. They can get that from GitHub. So the URL is github.com forward slash Digibyte forward slash Digibyte. And they can go to releases. Actually, just usually type it in the top here, releases. Let's try that again. GitHub.com forward slash Digibyte forward slash Digibyte forward slash releases. We've got the 7.172.1 details here. They can download the source code. They can grab the binaries, whatever they would like. If you're not running it again, that's totally cool. You probably don't need to worry about anything. You can check the people that have upgraded already. DGBWiki.com. If you've got any questions, feel free to sing out below. Otherwise, uh, you can tweet me. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Keep in touch with at DigibyteCoin on Twitter as well. We're on Reddit, we're on Telegram, we're on Facebook. Uh, if you do have any questions. Otherwise, I will talk to you in the next video. See you tomorrow. Cheers.